So what's going on you guys? I'm Patrick of Coaster Fanatics. As you can see with that giant lift hill right there, I'm at Carowinds on Memorial Day. There you see the treble cleft to uh, Fury 325. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be here to ride uh, Copperhead Strike, Fury 325, Intimidator, Nighthawk, Afterburn. The list goes on and on and on. This place has an excellent collection of roller coasters, if not the best in the Cedar Fair chain. Very close to uh, Cedar Point, in my opinion. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. I must say, I love the placement of Fury 325. How it goes over the entrance here. You can just feel the energy as you walk into this park. It's very similar to Cedar Point. Uh, with Gatekeeper going over the entrance. Both these coasters greet the guests as they go into the park and uh, it's just very well done. Two of the best placed B&Ms uh, in history if you ask me. So as you guys can see from this angle right here, this is where Fury 325 gets its name for this uh, element right here, the treble clef. Looks just like it. Uh, if you're into music, that looks just like a treble clef right there. So this is something really cool right here, you guys. This plaque right here represents the dividing line between North and South Carolina. Carowinds is uh, the only theme park in the country that actually sits in two different states. And if you follow this line right here, it goes all the way up through the park as well. Very cool how the, this park sits in two states. All right, I'm in. I got myself a fast pass. And uh, we're going to jump right on Fury 325 for our first coaster. Because why not? It's the best one here. Something I thought was very interesting was walking in. I didn't see any advertisement for Copperhead Strike. This is literally the first one that I've seen right here. Uh, I'm not sure why Carowinds isn't advertising it more. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of find that interesting. Usually when a park opens a brand new roller coaster, they got signs all over the place when you're entering. Look familiar? This usually should be RMC track on that if we were at King's Dominion, but this one don't have it quite yet. It may never get it, actually. They just did a bunch of track work to this hurler. So, uh, I don't know. The odds of them RMCing it right now are pretty slim, at least for the moment. There's Fury 325. About to get on this beast right now. Last time I rode it was in uh, 2016. At the end, I still like Millennium Force better, but let's see if it changes my mind today. I just rode Fury four times, two in the back and two in the front. Uh, definitely awesome. It's totally, it totally uh, should get the best steel coaster award like it does the last three years. It definitely deserves it. Um, it is better than Millennium Force, but I still like Millennium Force for sentimental reasons. Some of you guys know about that. But uh, yeah, this is definitely the best steel coaster in the world for sure, as far as Giga coasters go anyway. All right, I'm about to get on the hurler. As you can see, you got fresh wood here at the bottom of the uh, track here, at the bottom of the drop. So uh, we'll see how smooth it is now. I actually thought it was a decent ride when I rode it back in 2016. <laughs> I just got off the hurler. Uh, it was just okay. They uh, they retract a lot of the first lap, which was really good, but that second lap is bad, really bad. Really reminds me of uh, of the mean streak. It really takes me back. 
Um, they did add some new padding to the trains, which is nice. It helps out a little bit, but uh, they really need to RMC this thing. But unfortunately, it's probably not going to happen since they put a bunch of track work in and they invested in the trains as well. So something we're going to have to deal with. Uh, hopefully, at the very least, they do some more track work, at least on the second lap. So the next coaster is the Carolina Cyclone. Uh, I will not be riding this one. This is one of my most hated roller coasters right here. This is uh, right up here with Vortex. So, uh, Vortex at Kings Island, I mean. Um, yeah, no, no reason to ride this one, if you ask me. So this is one of the reasons why they keep these roller coasters, is they look beautiful. They go, they go right over the, uh, the midway here, very Cedar Point-like. And they just look nice, you know? But when you get on them, not so much. They're worth it for the credit, but this is not a ride that you marathon. roller coaster is Vortex, which is the only remaining B&M standing uh, stand-up coaster left in the uh, entire Cedar Fair chain. Um, this is this is the only one they haven't converted yet. Most of them have been converted to floorless coasters like Rougarou at, uh, at Cedar Point and Patriot at uh, uh, California's Great America. So maybe someday they'll convert this one too or they'll take it completely down. Who knows what the plan is. I forgot to mention, I'm not going to be riding this one either. Um, the operations are just way too bad on this thing, plus I don't like stand-ups anyway. This is one of the original B&Ms. Uh, I believe this is number four or five, I think, out of uh, all the ones they built so far. And you could hear how loud it is. You could tell it's an original B&M. Moving right along, just to the other side of Vortex, you have the Carolina uh, Gold Rusher. That's their uh, Aero Mine Train coaster. It's right over there, just on the other side of this hut. And then over straight ahead is the new County Fair section of the park that just opened, uh, I believe, two years ago. Uh, really looking forward to seeing that. So there's the sign as you enter. First thing you see is Flying Cobras. Uh, it's their old boomerang coaster that they rethemed repainted and I believe they have a newer style train on it as well. Got this Ford truck here. Fair fries and the rock and roller over there. So standing in this section here you have the electric spin. Uh, you got the swing ride over there and then you got the doocy do right there. Another spinning ride. classic funnel cake stand right there. It does really feel like a county fair in this section of the park for sure. I, uh, I like it a lot. I, uh, I wish that I came here on the opening, but I didn't get around to it unfortunately. But it uh, definitely looks good. I'm gonna try flying cobras right now. Just got off the of Flying Cobras. It's pretty good, you guys. It's a uh, typical boomerang. It's got its bumpiness, but it's got the nice restraints on there. They're uh, almost like a vest restraint, and uh, it helps out a lot so you don't uh, hurt your shoulders or, or get any head banging in the ride. So if there's a boomerang you're gonna ride, this is one of them. So as you guys can see, my next roller coaster gonna be none other than Copperhead Strike. So uh, let's see how it is. I heard mixed reviews. I'm uh, I'm hoping for a good ride. Well, it's my luck. It's actually broke down right now. So uh, I'm just going to move along to Afterburn. Still got like six or seven hours to go in the day. So uh, I'll get on this eventually. So I'm by Afterburn right now. Um, 
it's kind of got slow operations today for whatever reason but a lot of people rate this as their number one invert uh, I wasn't that impressed with it when I rode it in 2016 but uh, we'll see if I change my mind this time I just got off of Afterburn. It was it was really good, you guys. It's definitely one of the more intense B&Ms out there. I'm not super big into the intense inverts, uh, and I think that's kind of why I gravitate towards Banshee. It's, it's really good, but it's not super intense. And uh, this one's just very intense. So if you, if you like that intense ride, this is the one. I can see why a lot of people rate it as number one. All right, Copperhead Strike appears to be running now. So I'm gonna get a locker from my bag and I'm gonna get on there right now. Copperhead Strike, I was able to ride it twice. Uh, very unique ride. It has very unique intensity, plus lots of hang time. I, I don't think I've found that kind of combination on any other roller coaster. I think it's definitely underrated so far. It's really a, a must ride if you ask me. Uh, especially if you love the hang time. Just about every inversion has incredible hang time and uh, great air time. And there's a lot of intensity on those turns too. It's just all around good ride. It's, should be getting better reviews. Unfortunately, it's not. I, uh, I must say that the, the stock for mock rides is uh, definitely growing in my book. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, Time Traveler last year, and uh, Copperhead Strike was a very good ride, if you ask me. I uh, really hope to see more mock ride co uh, roller coasters built in the U.S. here. All right, so there's about five hours left in operation today. I'm going to go back to the hotel, recharge my batteries, as well as the camera too, because the camera's about to die. So uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. Alright, here we are. This is Intimidator right here. Uh, this is one of the lowest rated B&M Hypers. Um, it is trimmed pretty hard, unfortunately. But I am a big fan of Dale Earnhardt. I liked to, uh, watched a lot of NASCAR growing up. He was one of my favorites. So uh, I do like this coaster. Uh, we'll see how it is now. So I just got off Intimidator, and I must say it's it's no better and it's no worse than Diamondback or some of the other B&M Hypers I've been on. There are better ones like Mako, I, I'd put that as my number one uh, B&M Hyper. But even with the trim brakes on this one, this it's not a bad ride at all, you guys. You know, uh, I don't know why it gets so much hate, but it really doesn't deserve it. So anyways, you guys, that's going to do it for this Zero-G vlog here at Carowinds. I'm going to ride Fury 325 one more time and then it's back to Chicago. Uh, stay tuned for brand new POV and reviews from Carowinds and Kings Island, Kentucky Kingdom, and Dollywood as well, all the parks that I visited on this trip, uh, with lots of off-ride footage for all those roller coasters, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button, and do leave your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a good one. I'll catch you all in the next video very, very soon.